folks welcome along to the brew shed we're in the cellar today because last night there was a tragic accident fortunately no beer was hurt the old stillage has got a bit cattywampus on us look at that so the old gal has actually collapsed and gone through the floor in that bottom corner so my job is to jack her back up and install some supports. So if we go in for a closer look, you'll see that down there, she's actually just punched a hole straight through the tiles. This floor shit anyway, like. So what I'm gonna do is put some scaffolding boards under the feet, hopefully prop it up. Right, see so if we can get this on cam. you'd be hard pressed to believe that I've got this done before I've even finished running off the mash check it out so being in we prop the body me and Stuart prop the body of the uh, stillage both sides we've got um, a scaffolding board prop there to spread the weight now down here you can see all the spoil that I actually took out of the hole it was absolutely shocking how soft the ground is underneath so I've left this end propped this is propped on uh, on a scaffolding board with a car jack and a spreader beam holding it up and then on the back there we've got a scaffolding board which will be going under the legs when the camera decides to focus and then in the back corner there I've actually filled it up with cement so I'm hoping that all of that cement will go hard enough over the weekend for us just to put that prop on so two buckets of cement went into there so effectively what I've done is underpin the legs of the stillage which uh, was no small achievement at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning on a Friday and it's done I feel quite proud of myself so now I'm going to lock the door because nobody's here yet. Stuart's been and gone. He's got to get changed. He's opening up. 
I'm gonna lock the door and uh, get back to brewing. I need to find me a hat as well. Just about to come to the end of the boil, we've got uh, 10 minutes left when I press this reset button. I've just put the protoflock in, and as you've just seen then on that brief clip, uh, I need to obviously carbonate all of the keg beers that we filled the other day. So what I've done is hook up the CO2 bottle, 40 psi on the reg, I've flung the CO2 line up and across on the ceiling so it doesn't sort of get in my way and then we've just dropped it down here which I can just pull up out the way when I'm not using it and uh, I've just hooked three kegs on so we'll just do three three at a time I could put 20 on because I've got a, a 20 line manifold in the corner there which would do the job but I only need to do three today and then I'll take them off and do three tomorrow. I'll take them off and do three the next day until they're all carbonated. Just one day at 40 PSI, 24 hours. Should be more than enough for that. Um, and then yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get this cleaned up before three o'clock. So I've got to go and pick the kids up with Gemma and then go over to Dixon Windows and do some type of photo shoot. It's gonna be dark though. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get in this uh, foggy, misty, dusky conditions brew day complete that's three back to back brew days stout vacant vacant everything's sat in steaming hot water because obviously I'm not going to use the water I've reclaimed from the boil uh, so I've soaked everything in it. I've recirculated everything with a splash of caustic in there as well. So I'm going to leave that actually to sit overnight uh, and I'll come back in the morning, give them a blast through with a bit more warm water because the HLT still got 400 litres of water at 69 degrees. So I'll do that tomorrow um, and then check on the beers. But everything looks kosher. And I might as well uh, go home and get changed and then I can go up and do these photos with Dave and maybe have a cheeky beer when I'm finished. We shall see!